Thompson, Emma Thompson, Emma Thompson. Even if Emma Thompson wasn't in Bridget Jones's baby, it still would have been perfect. She did um, part write the script. I went into this thinking this will be a good film, I will enjoy it. Never did I think I would come out saying that is the best film that I have seen that has been released in 2016. So in the third instalment in Bridget's story, she now finds herself pregnant and she doesn't know who the baby's father is. Is it Mark Darcy or is it this random guy she had a one night stand with at a festival who just so happens to be a billionaire and she has to try and work out how she's going to get these two fathers to know the truth and then they have to try and work together and that's hysterical. I think Patrick Dempsey and Colin Firth have this fantastic repellent rapport on screen. Just there's so much love and loathing at the same time between them and it's just, it's, it's, it's wonderful. The story is just hilarious. I've never laughed so hard out loud in a cinema at dialogue before as I did with Bridget Jones's baby. I think Renee Zellweger is fantastic. She looks very different to she the way she did in um, The Edge of Reason. But the character is still as full of personality as ever and the cast is great. Obviously Colin Firth, Patrick Dempsey and Renee, Renee Zellweger are exquisite. Shirley Henderson's in it again, wonderful. Uh, Sally Phillips, I adore Sally Phillips and, and she's, she's not in it as much as I would have liked to have been but she's still great. Emma Thompson, Emma Thompson, Emma Thompson, I love her. Um, yeah, she's, she's really really good in it, she's not in it too much but she's in it enough for me to smile about that. She grants, not in it and there's a good reason for that which is in the film and it, it came on at the beginning as to why he's not in it and I just went what? Why? And it's um but yeah there's a whole thing around why he's not in it and it's it's very interesting. Dialogue great, characters great, acting great, narrative development great. What is missing? Absolutely nothing. Honestly I did not think that I would be saying Bridget Jones's Baby is the best cinema release that I have seen this year. And it is. It absolutely is from start to finish. I was hooked. It was over before I knew it. I was laughing constantly. The sentimental moments were really touching. Renee Zellweger's performance, I think out of the three Bridget Jones films, this one is my favourite. She still feels like Bridget Jones, but I just think there's a certain maturity about her that makes certain things she says even funnier than they would have been if she said them when she was younger and allowed to be a bit more frivolous with life let me know what you think of it. I would love to discuss it with you all because I just, I want to talk about it so much. I just, I'm so overwhelmed. I didn't think it would be that good. It's one of those films that I cannot stop thinking about. It's, it's fantastic and I love Emma Thompson. Let me know your thoughts on Bridget Jones's Baby. Feel free to suggest any other films that you think I should check out and I will speak to you all soon. Bye!